storm rises. What you say in church, say it in your community, anywhere. The watch is powerful here in church. The watch will be mighty in your community. What happens to us is that we say a different word at home than we say in church. We say a different word in the market that we say in the church. We say a different word during sickness and during storm than we say in the service. But if you say the same word, he delivered me, say that. He delivers me now. He will yet deliver me. Let the word of deliverance be permanent in your mouth. Nothing will bring you down in Jesus' name. I come to point number three here. Point number three, the healing of the sick as our privilege. The healing of the sick as our privilege. Matthew chapter 14, I'm reading from verse 14. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 14, and Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion towards them, and he healed their sick. He healed their sick. Somebody say amen. Look at verse 34. In verse 34, and when they were gone over, they came into the land of Genezaret. In verse 35, and when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased. All that were, tell me, diseased. Look at that word. This is, is, is when there is calm, rest, joy, happiness, stillness no problem in the body is this is is anything that contradicts that is in your stomach in your brain in your hand in your leg in your waist in your joints anything that contradicts that is is called this is and so, in your life, if there is any disease, you're feeling uncomfortable there, you're feeling hot there, you're feeling confusion there, and you're feeling sickness there, and you're feeling infirmity here, it will set you free. Ease is to bring the peace in relation to ease in your life is the prince of peace that's why any time and every time he sees anything contradicting ease and peace in your life he must bring a kill he must bring a calm he must bring a solution there the healing of the sick as our privilege look at that verse 36 in verse 36 and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched were made perfectly whole. You will touch it. It will make you perfectly whole. Three things. Number one, the touch of healing in his presence. Number two, the thoroughness of his healing without price. Number three, the transfer of his healing with triumphant power. Number one, number one is the touch of healing 
in his presence the touch of healing in his presence we're looking at mark chapter 5 reading from verse 25 in mark chapter 5 verse 25 and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years 26 and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew was verse 27 when she had heard of jesus came in the press in the crowd through the multitude behind and touched his garment and touched his garment look at that the woman did not even have any chance to shake hands with christ the woman did not have any chance to bend down with tears and touch the feet of christ the woman did not have any chance to be anointed with oil the woman did not have any chance for christ to stretch out his hand and uh, touch her but she said i don't have to touch his person power radiates around him it's like the magnetic waves all around the magnet and so i know that the anointing is not to lay in his hand it's not to lay in his body even his garment the anointing is there and so she touched his garment you are touching verse 28 says for she said she said what you say in your heart what you say in yourself what you say to yourself will determine whether you remain a victim or you will become a victor you become a victor for she said if i may make touch but his clothes i shall be whole verse 29 and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague healed of that plague healed of that plague you are healed in jesus name verse 34 in verse 34 it says and he cried said unto her the woman daughter thy faith has made thee whole not just the touch the touch and the faith the prayer why why is this we have always prayed and god that one will not check the battery plug it into the original socket power will come into your battery are you watching five percent ten percent don't remove it yet twenty percent don't remove it yet fifty leave it there don't cry don't call don't pray don't use a hundred percent then you pick that phone pa, 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 pa. 11 digits hello heaven will answer you because you're calling and your battery of faith is full my battery is charged i said my battery is charged i put in the word i put in the trust i put in the confidence and then i send an sos to heaven immediately they hear my call on the other side and they answer me from the other side who is there it's me and everyone will say 
tell me what you want up to the half of the kingdom and I will do it for you because these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they will cast out devils in my name they will cast out devils look at verse 18 in the latter part of verse 18 nothing will hurt you they shall lay hands on the seed and they shall recover the battery of faith is fully charged verse 20 in verse 20 we are told and they went forth you are going forth you are going forth with power you're going forth with authority. You're going forth with assurance. You're going forth with unction. You're going forth with anointing. Let all the principalities and powers clear out of the way. The champions of faith are coming. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them, confirming the word of signs following the words of your mouth will be confirmed the decree of your mouth will be confirmed as you go let faith increase let fear be buried let your battery of faith be fully charged nothing will hurt you and nothing will stand before you in Jesus' name. Who is there? Your battery charged. The word of God inside your heart. Faith and confidence inside you. That's right, my sister, stand up there. Brother, stand up there. Your time has come. It's time, it's time to get your desire and your demand to heaven and heaven will hear you open your mouth and talk to the lord in prayer and say lord here am i where is the storm that will stand before a child of god that has faith in the lord where is the sickness and where is the evil spirit or evil power that will stand before the children of God that have their battery of faith charged and now they can call unto heaven. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Let him make you strong. You have salvation there. You have sanctification there. You have the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life. Why don't you tell the Lord, oh Lord, here am I, here am I, here am I, never to weep again, never to complain again, never to be so sorry for myself again. But you know, the Lord has promised I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you everywhere you go. His presence alone will destroy all the power of Dagon, Dragon in your life. Tell him, tell him, he will subdue that spirit it will heal that sickness it will destroy all the works of the devil he will pray for faith call with a fully charged phone the line is clear. No blockage. No failure of the system. You will answer your prayer. If there's any storm you brought on yourself, like Jonah, surrender. 
give yourself over to the Lord and say, Lord, in my foolishness, I went away from you. But in humility, I return. In Jesus' name we pray. <clears throat> There's a calm in my soul. There is healing in my body. There is assurance in my heart. God has answered my prayer. I will not cry anymore. I will not suffer anymore. The joy of heaven will be my strength. Where are you? Solution, deliverance, power, purity, joy. Happiness. You are going home with answers to your prayer. Raise up that hand, Father, in Jesus' name. I pray in every heart, in every soul, in every person, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, answers to their prayers in Jesus' name. I pray the cleansing, the pardon, the salvation will be permanent. The sanctification, the holiness, the purity will be real. The healing and the perfect soundness will be definite in every life in Jesus' name. Deliverance, freedom from every power of evil spirit guaranteed for your people in Jesus name Tuesday uh, of the manifold thing that happened at Gagada some of the things we had uh, if you are to even say some things out people can begin to idolize this man how much of God has been imparted how much of God has been influenced how much of the holiness of God has been put out upon him. And yet, your father, he will not give in. He will not give up. And to him, he has not even attained it yet. We want to go before God. God will make us holy true and true. I mean scriptural holiness, scriptural purity of life, scriptural righteousness of life, that we will be only true and even the kind of holiness that Satan will recognize. You remember in the book of Mark, when Satan, the devil, they, did, they said, Thou art the only one of Israel. Satan could recognize, Timothy could recognize that Christ was holy. Do you know the powers of darkness can tell if we are sanctified? Do you know? Satan can tell. Wash your soul, Lord. 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 Wash your I can do nothing without you. Father, help me, O Lord. Help me and give me the great power. In Jesus' name, we pray. No, we do. We pray. Just say, Amen. I, um, I, uh, the leaders who are here, we, we have pastor on the various pastor, pastor, pastor Peter is on the platform. And I'm going to say some things tonight. And uh, there's need to cry. There's need to cry. I, I, I didn't plan even the way I'm going to live tonight. That's the truth. Because I was teaching my students at almost 10 p.m. And I told them I was having prayer. And the, the way I'm living tonight is not something I planned for. But maybe I, I'm, I'm very sure that this is the leading. And just just flow with me. It wasn't something I premeditated to say. It wasn't something I wrote down somewhere or planned to say. And, and I'm sure that God wants to do something. I'm sure God wants to cause a surgical operation. I'm sure God wants to cause a miracle in the lives of many tonight. And 
there's going to be something that will happen we never planned or prepared for. Do you know, uh, some of our pastors are online, and these are pastors who have been Christian for years. They can tell in those days. How many of our members come to the church? Please, I want us to hear what I'm saying. How many of the people come to us in the church and say the witches and wizards are causing this in their life? They are making them fall sick. They are doing this to their business. They are doing this to their business and all of that. You don't hear. How many of those things do you hear those days? Uh, pastors are here. Maybe they can just uh, bear me with them. Pastor Ali is here. They, they have been in the faith for so many years. Pastor Matthew is here. Yeah. Is here. Pastor Bostel, yeah. Pastor Peter is here. We have been in the faith for so many years. And you don't find members coming for some of those fancy settings. How many of the members were you settling for uh, for? This one, this. This one, do this one, to this, this one. Because the, the people were genuine. People knew God. People were a genuine encounter. They were threats to powers of darkness in their neighborhood. They were threats. They were threats. What is happening to the church today? You will cancel and cancel and cancel. You cancel people here and there, here and there. Many are backsliders. We are just trying to package them in the church. We are trying to package them. No wonder witches and wizards are oppressing people today. No wonder. Is it not an insult? A child of God will be scared of witches and wizards. Is it not an insult? Powers of darkness will be ravaging. Is it not an insult? We have been lost it. We have been missed it. But we cannot wake up on our own and call upon the monarch of Zion and call upon the name of the Lord and say, of darkness in our neighborhood. Let him go. 